Since 2017, rap has been one of the most popular genres of music, with some of the top artists like Drake averaging up to 60 million monthly listeners on Spotify alone. Since it's so popular right now, I thought it'd be good to look at Dude's Roots. Wait, did I just say Dude's Roots? I meant It's Roots. What the fuck? <laughs> Clive Campbell, better known as DJ Cool Herc, is credited with starting what we now consider rap music in Bronx back in the 1970s. He would throw parties where he'd use turntables to create loops and extend songs. From what I've seen online, he was actually stabbed at one of his own parties. Luckily, he survived and is still alive to this day, but he withdrew from performing, and by the time rap was gaining popularity, he was working at a record store. Kokla Rock, with the help of DJ Cool Herc, is known to be the first rapper. Although, his songs weren't recorded at the time, but in 2008, a song titled Hello, Merry Christmas Baby was released, which is said to be the first recording featuring him. This song was included in a Sedgwick and Cedar Holiday album to pay tribute to the birth of hip-hop. Rapper's Delight by the Sugar Hill Gang is known to be the first rap song publicly released via what I'd assume is vinyl cassettes and the radio. Although, from what I'm hearing, it didn't achieve, achieve any crazy levels of success at the time. Also considered hip-hop pioneers, the last poets are considered to be the first rap group. They performed for the first time in Harlem around the same time in 1968 and went on to release a debut album two years later. Rap music is known for having a huge influence and in bringing, pro bringing up problems and social justice to light. The earliest example I found was from 1988, in which the band NWA released the track Fuck the Police in response to police brutality, although many didn't fully understand the message and started considering rap gangsta. This was <laughs> this was also around the time the East and West rap scenes started to divide. Sorry, I can't fucking talk. Although, over time, it didn't... What the fuck am I saying? Over time, it does seem that the message of most rap songs have been watered down, which is not necessarily a bad thing. It just depends how you look at it. It's crazy to see how many icons and game-changing artists have come from this genre. There's Tupac, Biggie, Kanye, Kendrick, Snoop, Jay-Z, Cole, Wayne, just to name a few, and there's so many more. It's also wild that this genre is just turning 50-ish while rock and pop are closer to 70, which also seems way younger than I would have expected. Which means that the founding fathers for it are actually still alive and really not that old. DJ Cool Herc and Coca-Cola Rock are both only 76, 67. They're six, not set. They're 67. And if Tupac was still alive, he'd only be 52, while Biggie would have just turned 50. Who's your favorite rapper? Let me know in the comments. I'll pop some of my faves at the moment on screen right now. Thanks for sticking around. Hope you enjoyed the short little lecture, I guess. I don't know. And subscribe if you want. Bye.